Okay, uh, here we are in Matrix Gold. This is kind of the first design that I made uh, with Matrix Gold, and I have to say it was a little bit of a challenge to get to know what commands would do what in uh, the proper way. I had some issues with uh, trying to figure it out, and uh, I'm here to share those and so you don't make the same mistakes. And uh, this is kind of a... I don't know, I was just playing around. I, I, I went into the outside ring rail and modified it a little bit, and that's something I want to talk about later. Uh, and uh, did a sweep and kind of just started working on it. Uh, it. This particular ring is a, a ring where you could actually wear it uh, either way. You could wear it like this, or you could flip it over and wear it like this. So it's, it's kind of a different concept. Uh, I made the prongs nice and heavy. Um, being a <coughs> craftsman myself, uh, I'd rather have too much prong than not enough. Uh, so that's kind of why th those are sticking out like that. Uh, but of course, once they're set, they'll be all below the below the uh, rails, so that uh, the the rails will offer nice uh, wear and tear on the the prongs. So it w it'll save the prongs from being uh, eroded, worn away, once it's all cleaned up. Uh, but it's uh, it was it was a learning experience. There's a lot of things I, I really learned in it. Uh, so I want to get into those. So uh, let's let's get started. Okay. Uh, one of the first things that I uh, came across was uh, this particular item. You know, it has uh, smaller stones in the center. I redid all that, but anyway. Uh, and larger stones at the end, uh, cut out of the ch in a channel. Um, and then I wanted, I you know, I was playing around. I wasn't going to put any beads on it, but I, I wanted to check out some stuff. So I, I extracted an ISO curve. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, from 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 one side uh, and if you look uh, if I extract an ISO curve from this surface you know yeah I, ha I can drag it wherever I want it I can see the position it doesn't give me uh, a center because uh, you know I cut into the channel so it's it's gearing over to so you kinda have to just kinda guess and then uh, get it as close as possible to the center um, but if I hit enter, you can see the curve swerves way over to one side. It's not in the center, uh, like this one over here. Uh, it's it's pushed off, well, yeah, like this one. It's pushed off to the side. So when you put the beads on there, although you have control over the beads, um, you know, middle ends, middle end, both ends, uh, you still... Uh, have a difficulty trying to uh, get it to where it's centered. So if I made these beads, beads bigger to cover, you know, the space there, okay, uh, and you look at it, it's kind of hanging over on this end, and then it's like has the space on that side. Even if I was to put on uh, middle change the middle you can see that it's off to one side and if I change the size here make it a little larger to you can see that there it doesn't matter they're still off to one side and if I made them large enough to cover it uh, they're they're over into the channel uh, so that was uh, frustrating for a little while uh, but what I did was like on this side here uh, I duped the edges well first exploded the ring duped the edges uh, let's go ahead and enter uh, duped the edges hide this on this side exploded it and then re re uh, did it sweep two on it. So now that the the line is in the center I readjusted the the control points and everything uh, 
so that it's in the center. Now when you look at the, the beads, they're all in the center. Uh, you're able to adjust them in the center there and then all the way to the end and they all pretty much uh, line up right in the middle. Uh, so that was kind of like the first thing that I came across. Uh, anybody can give advice on uh, what's the best way. The only other way that I could think of doing it would be uh, duplicating these outside borders, bringing it in, dropping the surface, and everything would maintain its uh, its right proportion without doing a, a cutter for it. Uh, what I mean, I guess, uh, I guess I can show you, uh, is something instead of you know doing a cutter you can uh, dupe the edges get them all duplicated and then hit uh, enter enter and now I have those and then I can offset the curves curve offset where is it at still learning where everything's at on here curve offset so I take on surface and then I take this curve and this surface and flip it because I want it to go into um, flip and also take it to a uh, let's see point uh, five enter and it should have put my curve in there let's change it to yellow okay and change that curve yeah all right so there it is and then I can do the same thing to all of them this serves flip it it's already at f uh, point 0.5 so then take this curve this surface push it in take this curve this surface push it in okay now I have everything all right so if I hide uh, let's see we'll, we'll put on green layer let's see if I can hide this okay so I have the stones out there and everything so let's uh, get rid of a lot of this stuff don't need it uh, it's just because we don't I'm just demonstrating here uh, so here's my inside curve that's that's the edge curve and then I brought it in so if I take this outside curve uh, and explode it can you explode it no you can't so let's just take it and then uh, split it with a point oh no no not cut split it with a point point select curve right here on this end right okay select do it again select curve uh, point this curve right at this end so it didn't explode it didn't cut them well parametric history you can't explode the damn curves why cannot explode okay let's see if I can do this let's take this and split with this and this this and this and hit enter now can I no it did not cut that's another thing with the pyramids parametric uh, dupe edges it's kind of frustrating so let's bring the ring back out uh, and let's come down here and we'll just I already deleted those edges so let's just take this select edge enter enter and select edge enter enter okay let's hide the the green here now I should be able to split them because it's although it's parametric they're not all connected they're all individual so take this and split with the 
this and this and hit enter and then take this and delete and take this and delete and do the same thing over here take this and split with this and this and hit enter take this delete take this delete and I should be able to grab everything now and join it all together that curve that curve that curve that curve this curve oh come on this curve this curve this curve this curve this curve and I want to join them so now they should be joined okay now let's bring back our ring and now what I can do is I can take this surface I got two of them out there let's delete one uh, take this surface and split with this curve hit enter and now I should have this surface maybe no one more time take this okay let's just do this uh, we're going to split objects to split this enter this select cutting objects this enter this being okay now I got that surface <laughs> all right so this surface is uh, good all right now what I can do this maintains the distance on both sides so now if I do an ISO curve out of there it'll put it right in the middle uh, and then I also have to do with this surface is do a uh, uh, offset surface uh, offset surface uh, flip it flip it 0.5 and then hit enter okay there's my offset surface now what I do from here is I take that uh, offset surface and explode it and uh, take that top surface because th I don't need that and there it is there's my channel and then you want to take everything and join it this is another thing I found out if you if you try to add things uh, like say I wanted a, a, a prong on surface uh, where's no settings uh, prong on surface uh, if I take it now the prongs up but watch watch this if I go back okay now this surface and this surface are still separate but let's just say I, I join them together and then I want to put a prong on a surface. I did not join everything all together. This this is still separate. Everything's still separate. Uh, so I take the prong, select the surface, and look what it does. It, it puts it upside down on my on my surface. So now the prong's upside down. So you have to be careful. Make sure, <laughs> make sure that you join everything. I guess I don't know if that's just a uh, uh, brain fart or uh, what happened there. But if you take everything and you join it, uh, join it all together, and then put a prong place. Why does that come up there? I have no idea. Now it. it it pops up in the correct place so be careful there too as well uh, those are kind of two things uh, I kind of really learned but as you can tell everything's got a little a 0.5 now that whole edge has a 0.5 so if I go in there to extract that ISO curve again um, you can see that it's going to It's not going to give you the the exact center, but you could you can fix that by uh, just maybe duplicating this edge and then splitting it, and then it will give you a, an edge. But it, it it's going to huh? what? No, it's still not. It's still it just takes it right down from where. you placed it so I guess the only way anybody help me out with that 
Give me some advice. Why or how can I get it to be in the center without exploding it and re-sweeping that surface? Seems like a lot of extra work. It's all point five, but it's not. Yeah. Someone help me out with that? 